Hi friends, welcome back. So today I did this tutorial for you guys using the new Makeup Geek Vegas Lights Palette. I know it's not like brand new, but it's new to me because I just got it. I wanted to get this up because this is currently in stock on the website, but I know this is like the last bit of stock that they have. So if you guys, you know, like the colors, I would get on purchasing it right now before it sells out and never comes back. And yeah, so if you want to see how I use the new Makeup Geek Vegas Lights palette, then just keep on watching. Why are you so weird? So first off, I'm priming my face with Benefits Professional. This is just a little baby size. And we are just going to put this all over our face because I'm not the type of person who only likes to prime my T-zone. I like to prime everything. For foundation today, I'm using my L'Oreal Visible Lift Miracle Blurring Foundation. I think that's what it's called. Jesus knows. And I'm just dotting that all over my face and I'm just going to blend it out with a damp beauty blender as always. For concealer, I'm using my MAC Select Cover Up and my Rimmel Match Perfection Concealer. I really hate the Rimmel one, I'm not going to lie to you, and that's why I'm just trying to use it up. And I'm also just trying to use up my Select Cover Up. I don't hate that one, I just want to use it up. <laughs> And of course I'm blending out all that concealer with that same damp beauty blender. To set my face, I'm taking my Ben Nye Banana Powder and a dry beauty blender. It's actually the Real Technique sponge. And I'm just going to dip it in and set my under eyes. Now I'm setting my face with my Holy Grail Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and I actually hit pan on this, which is, which is, what am I saying, kind of a big deal for me. I did my brows off camera and I will link my brow routine down below if you guys want to check it out. And I'm taking my Anastasia Contour Powders, this is the color Earth, and I'm using my NARS Eater Brush. I know I said I wasn't going to buy the NARS Eater Brush, but I didn't, Elver actually bought it for me. so. Thumbs up for the Eater Brush because it is awesome and I definitely recommend everybody goes out and purchases it. It is perfect for contouring. So I'm just contouring on the hollows of my cheeks and I will also link my contour routine down below because I do go into more depth. Thank you. 
For blush today, I'm using my new Hourglass Ambient Blush Palette, and I'm going to use the color in the center, which is Incandescent Electra, I believe. And I'm not really sure how I feel about this palette just yet, so I'm just, you know, playing with it a little bit more. But I'm using a Real Techniques contour brush just to put this on the apples of my cheeks and work it back a little bit towards my contour. Moving on to the eyes, I'm going to use my Urban Decay Primer Potion in Sin. I'm just going to pour some on the back of my hand and take a flat brush and just work this all over my eye all the way up to my eyebrow. I feel like this gives me a more intense highlight on my brow bone since I don't like to go in with shadow on the actual brow bone. Now I'm just grabbing my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk and I'm just going to tap that with my middle finger onto both of my eyelids. I do really love this product and I do talk about it in my top 10 under 10 so if you guys want to check that out I will definitely leave a link to that down below. But I just like it because it makes the eyeshadows just stand out and pop a little bit more. Now of course I'm sure you already know by now I'm using the Vegas Lights palette by Makeup Geek and I really really do love this palette. I'm starting off with Desert Sands and I'm just going to use this as my transition color. Um, this actually looks a lot like Max Uninterrupted so I would definitely check out this palette because the value of this versus the cost of it is just amazing. And also considering how much MAC eyeshadows are and that you get six full-size Makeup Geek shadows in here and the palette itself I think is $37 is just it's priced really really greatly then I'm going in with a flat brush and I'm grabbing the color casino and I'm gonna work this kind of in the first the inner third sorry the inner third of my eye and I'm also going to take it in the inner corner a little bit. That's kind of going to be the highlight. I'm not really going to put anything else in the inner corner today. Then I'm grabbing the second shade, which is Sin City. And it's just a little bit more copper than Casino. Casino is more of like a traditional gold. And I'm just putting this kind of on the center of the lid. And this is going to be kind of the main focus. This is where we want most of the attention to be. Just kind of really catching the light and catching the attention. I would have to say my favorite color in this entire palette is probably Sin City. I think it is just so unique in the fact that it's gold but still copper but still yellow. It's just, it's, it's really gorgeous. You just have to check this palette out, I'm telling you. So next I'm going in with the color Roulette which is kind of a Another unique color is kind of red, but at the same time it just has like a little bit of a rust undertone to it. And it is very shimmery and I'm putting that on the outer corner of the eye, kind of working it into Sin City and blending it as much as possible. Now because I'm not putting roulette in the crease really at all, I'm going to take Bada Bing with that same brush that we use with roulette and I'm going to put this kind of all the way at the edge of the outer corner and then work that a little bit in the crease and then go back in with the original 217 brush that we used with Desert Sands and pick up a little bit more Bada Bing and just work that a little bit more in the outer V and in the outer crease area.
I decided to show me doing my wing liner with Anastasia's waterproof cream color in jet as opposed to my NYC liquid liner and I'm using a MAC 210 brush to do this and I'm just gonna show you one eye because for some reason the other eye took me like 45 minutes but yeah just look at that there I go I'm also going to show you me putting on my lashes and these are my House of Lashes iconic lashes which I literally cannot put down but while the glue is still getting tacky I'm going to highlight with this new Bobbi Brown highlighter. This is the Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick in the color Bronze Glow. This is from the Scotch on the Rocks collection which is just out for the holidays and um, I'm not really sure how I feel about this yet. I didn't feel like it was my favorite highlighter in the world but I guess it is a really nice glow. Now while the glue on the other lash is getting tacky, I'm going to take Teddy Eye Cold by MAC and just run that in my waterline on both eyes. And I'm not going to show you applying my other lash because that one was just, it was acting up. It was not being very nice. So I just skipped over that. <laughs> Now I'm just grabbing this double sided brush that came with the Urban Decay Vice 3 palette and I'm grabbing Bada Bing again and I'm just going to use this on the lower lash line. I'm grabbing the shorter side of the brush first then I'm going to blend it out with a little bit of desert sands on the other more fluffy crease side of the brush. For my lips, I took Max Magenta Lip Pencil and I'm just lining them. I'm not filling them in today and that's because I do not need to because the lipstick I'm using is seriously incredible. It's amazing. It's perfect, long lasting, opaque. It's just, it's literally the greatest thing that has ever touched my lips in my 21 years of living. And the lipstick I'm talking about is the NARS Audacious Lipstick and this is the color Fanny. Look at this berry shade. I decided to pair it to pair to pair it if I can talk English to pair it with a berry shade just because I felt like it was a very bronzy goldy look and I felt like it would just be so perfect for fall to pair it with this color and that's it guys that's everything for this look I used almost every single color in here minus Mirage which I guess would have been a good brow highlight if I was interested in highlighting my brow but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Share it if 
you would like, and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye!